Hard to look away, isn't it? But they're more than pretty flowers. Heart blooms are attuned to ambient emotion. <sighs> you don't seem convinced, but believe me, it's true. This ashen grey, for instance, it mirrors the anxiety and urgency of those working nearby as they rush to fulfill sudden orders. Intense feelings like those spur the petals to change colour. Bright glowing hues in the presence of joy, dark subdued shades for frustration or despair. Yet even with the collected wisdom of Charlian at our disposal, we've yet to identify the underlying principle of this empathic effect. And there are other mysteries besides. Although the flower is extraordinarily long-lived, its low reproductive rate has made it difficult to find younger populations growing in the wild. With too few sightings to map its distribution, and no closely related species to track, we've been unable to pinpoint its land of origin. <laughs> to further complicate matters, Every culture, even dimly aware of its existence, has given it a different name and mythos. Our attempts to study it via the historical record have been an exercise in frustration. As an avid botanist myself, I should one day like to unravel the heart bloom's secrets. But I'm afraid other duties must take precedence. I will leave you to your thoughts. Have you learned aught of interest? A flower that reacts to one's feelings? Strange. I must say, I have never heard of such a thing. This is all very fascinating. But as it stands, we fail to gain any significant insight into the forum's undertaking. Indeed. While there is certainly enough activity to support Erinville's supposition that a priority has been placed on improving food production, and fortunately for our investigation, these workers were never informed as to how their duties serve the master plan. <sighs> if only we could interrogate the forum members directly. Isn't that the entrance to the Archaean? Look, there! I think that's Erinville. A little difficult to tell from here, but, but I think you're right. He did say he was coming down to make his report. Erinville receives his orders from the Forum. Would it not follow, then? that the superior to whom he reports is a forum member, or at least a close associate. You mean to eavesdrop on their conversation? <laughs> what of the risks? Ours alone to bear. We won't interfere with Erinville's work, nor will he be implicated as an accomplice. If you're not comfortable taking part, I can do this alone. Nay. I said myself that I wished to know Father's intentions, and no answers will be forthcoming should we simply ask nicely. We can apologize later, should it come to it. 
Right now, we need every crumb of information we can get our hands on. Consequences be damned. It might be best if you came along as well. In fact, we should all... Cryo? Hmm? Oh, yes. That certainly sounds like a plan. I'm glad you agree. Quickly! Erinville is on the move. We need to get closer before we lose him. Almost. I can almost reach you. 